guys, welcome to How to Be a Legend 101. This right here is my legend. Now, if you'll complete these steps as he has done already, and then you'll be on your way to becoming a legend yourself, and you'll be able to compete at a normal level of football, whether it be youth to pro, these five simple steps at each position are key in order to learning how to understand how to play the game and having proper technique. Okay, first we're going to start off with the defensive line. Now this can be either defensive tackle or defensive end. Uh, first thing you'll do is get your feet shoulder width apart. You'll get your uh, knees bent slightly in a good athletic stance. Arms at an attacking position. And you'll, next thing you'll do, you'll, you'll drop one of your feet back, whichever feels more comfortable. So it's heel toe. So your, your toe of the one you drop back needs to be aligned perfectly with your heel. Next thing you'll do is squat down a little bit further for defensive line since you will be putting your hand on the ground and you'll be putting your weight on the balls of your feet. So you'll lean a little bit forward to put the weight on the balls of your feet and just naturally you're going to put your hand down. As you can see here he has his other arm in an attack position ready to go. That way when he takes his first step he'll be ready to go. So at this point your eyes are forward, you're balanced on your feet. Leaning forward, a lot of your weight is distributed on your hand. Step four, your eyes are still up. Your back hand is in attack position, ready to fire off. Step five, you'll take your first step, no more than six to eight inches in front of your front step, and then you'll follow up with your next step. As you can see, he's still low, his chest is still over his knee, and he's ready to his chest is over his knee and he's ready to attack. Now these are the five steps of how to become a proper defensive line. The next position is linebacker. The linebacker is the leader of the defense. He's usually the one that calls the plays. Now with this one, you won't have to get down with your hand on the ground for the most part. You'll be in a good athletic two-point stance. Two points meaning just two feet uh, on the ground. Again, you'll do the same steps as you did before for step one. Feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent, and your hands this time will be on your knees, ready to go. Step two, make sure you focus your eyes straight forward and your hands will be over in an attack position. Step three, you'll take a hard first step forward, and you'll notice it's only going to be six to eight inches forward, so you can breathe the front arm in front of you. That will always be your first step so you can show them that you're attacking forward. Step four, you'll go ahead and start with your drop step or back pedal. So for step four, you're going to, if you need to turn inside to cover an inside receiver, which will not say running back or tight end, you'll go ahead and do so. So you'll take one step backwards and then you'll be ready to open up your hips. be able to turn and run with the receiver or running back going with you. Now step five is similar. You'll, you'll start square once again. If this is for a running back, receiver, tight end that's going for the outside route. You'll be here, hands are really ready in an attack position. In step five you open up with the opposite hip where you're there and then you'll be ready to turn and run and cover and be able to run with the receiver, tight end or tight end.
most slightly in order to better cover the receiver. And so depending on where he's alive, if he's alive inside of you, yeah, and in, that's in good. Eighth and ten. Now step three, you'll reset. And you're under your body outside the receiver at this point to try to stretch you back still. And then Judge will have to pull you up. Now step four, you'll pitch whichever side you want to pitch. And you'll be ready to go. So your first step would be back step. So it'll be straight, it'll be straight back. One, two, three. The beginning is about to be. And then once the receiver makes his move, step five comes into play. And you'll turn your hips and you'll run. One, two, three. Now let's look at that once again. Step five. Start working inside. Body down. Eyes are up. Hands are ready. His body is rather towards the opposite way. Now step five, he'll be ready to turn his hips inside to cut off an inside route. Inside routes, these are the pitch drag, slant, uh, maybe short curls, it really depends, but it's uh, extremely important for the pitcher box to have this technique down because uh, this can, short routes like this can turn into big plays. So similarly, he'll take his first step back, one, two, once he realizes it's an inside route, he'll plant, and go forward at an angle, one, two, three, in order to cut off the run. 